the the reward system, the uh, nervous system, the human nervous system is set up to give us chemical rewards for accomplishing goals for surviving. Okay, when I go for a run, I get endorphins. When I accomplish my run, I get a sense of accomplishment. This releases dopamine and serotonin. I feel incredible. We want this. We want to feel like that. We always want that. That's why people do drugs. That's why people drink alcohol and stuff like this. Not to say those, not saying those things are bad. Moderation, maybe they can be good. And God knows I like a couple of beers here and there. But the point is, we're designed to accomplish things, to try to go out and reach goals, to grow. We are designed to grow. And when we do that, when we go out, we get a sense of self-worth. We get a sense of self-value and we gain happiness for overcoming goals and feeling good obtaining what we want you all want that you every single last one of you wants to feel good wants to be happy and if you're not it's because you're not taking advantage of your nervous system you're not taking advantage of the dreams that you have a dream unlived a dream unlived is is painful for us we are driven towards growth some might argue that evolutionarily we are um, driven by survival now I think this is a very objective perception of it I don't agree with those particular word choices I believe and it's it appears to me that we are driven to overcome not to survive mere not merely to steadfastly survive but to overcome to endure and we do this best together. We do. More minds. More minds and more power. Two is always better than one. But really, guys, what I'm talking about here is that we have to take individual responsibility for everything in our lives. No matter what is happening outside of us, the world is not perfect. And because of how many uh, perceptions exist different ways people see things look at things some negative some positive and this is probably always going to be the case you can't expect the world to change for your whim on your individual psychology because we're all so different from each other so therefore it's up to you it's up to you to be your own hero if you want something in this world you can have it oh you can you certainly can. You can have anything you want in this world. You have to be willing to fight for it, to overcome challenges. And But, 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 as you do, you're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, I've been running and working out. I've been writing books on linguistics. Uh, I've been fighting steadfastly, using that word again, I like that, steadfastly, uh, for the things that I want. We're the people I care about because I want to make the world a better place for other people. That is my number one goal in my life. It makes my life meaningful, I think. And I, I'm really happy with my choices this far. And, and even if you fail, there is great glory. There is great honor in aiming high and failing. Even if I do not achieve what I set out to achieve, I'm still happy because that's how the nervous system is set up. That's what happiness is, is trying your best, trying to do the thing that you want to do, not getting it. Once you get it, you're like, great, now I have this. Now what else can we aim for? That's the human spirit. That's how we roll. That's how it is, you guys. <laughs>